Hello, thanks for joining another quick tutorial on MetaOSINT, the open source intelligence tool and resource aggregator. Here we'll walk through the tool's second main feature, a searchable table covering nearly 6,000 OSINT tools and resources. While the table in the UI is great, I also encourage downloading the raw data, which is available to all, to explore the data set with spreadsheet software of your choice. And so I'll walk through what that can look like too. The main search bar will search across any of the cells contained within the table. I recommend searching in one of two main ways, by more general topic or theme related keywords, likely associated with the resource categories and subcategories, or by more specific terms, likely used in individual website or tool names, such as the type of data point you're trying to surface. There often can be a lot of overlap among these options as well. So for example, we can search by category keyword, disinformation. And we'll end up returning all of the resources contained in the news verification slash disinformation subcategory. Where possible, I recommend familiarizing yourself with the category and subcategory labels in the tool so you can easily filter down to specific topics. These lists are hyperlinked in the table headers here. As much as possible, these category names were derived from conventions used most often in the list of tools originally surveyed by MetaOSINT in 2021, and there's more notes on that methodology on the Learn More page. Speaking of methodology, you could consider filtering the resources by the source column as well. More notes on these labels are included on the Learn More page, but essentially, resources derived from certain of these sources may be more or less helpful for you depending on the scope of your investigation. Here we're showing all resources derived from manual input by MetaOSINT's author. An alternative search approach, which may return more or fewer results depending on the keyword, is to use a term describing a certain type of data, such as email. Here, we're seeing many OSINT resources that reference email directly in their title or website URL, but also a few categories around email-related OSINT topics, which may or may not be useful for your needs in a given investigation. For broader or more specialized views into the data, I highly encourage downloading the raw data in CSV format available through the site's accompanying GitHub page, linked here. Open this CSV with your preferred spreadsheet software. A pivot table is a great way to analyze the data at scale and may be the fastest way to find a resource of interest. Here, we're creating a pivot table by highlighting all the cells in the original CSV, building the table, and analyzing it with a few different category breakdowns and the count of the resources they contain. There are many more possibilities, and maybe you can even find some good pointers on analysis with spreadsheets using some of the resources linked within MetaOSINT itself. If you ever find during your time using MetaOSINT that the tool does not contain a resource you expected it to include, you can now offer contributions to the project. Just fill out the quick form linked on the Learn More page to submit a suggestion. If you do, thanks in advance for contributing back to the OSINT community, and thanks for your time during this tutorial. 